Hi, I'm Brent Sinclair and welcome to tonight Frank Newcastle's commercial property update. This month I'm joined by Matt Shaw, Director of Valuations for Night Frank Newcastle. Matt's going to share some insights with us about our latest uh, Q1 report for the Newcastle property, uh, Newcastle property market for 2018. Matt, I wanted to focus on the, uh, the office leasing market. Um, in your report, you've analysed several competing um, non-capital and regional office markets nationally. Uh, can you give us an overview of those markets and how Newcastle compares? Sure, Brent. Uh, the Newcastle market sits at around 253,000 square metres of stock uh, and our competing markets are the Gold Coast, uh, the Sunshine Coast and uh, Wollongong in New South Wales. Uh, the Gold Coast market is around 466,000 square metres, uh, Sunshine Coast at, at sort of around 171,000 square metres, while the uh, Wollongong market is at 157,000 square metres. So Newcastle sits sort of in between those, those three competing markets. Yeah, great. From a vacancy sense, uh, Newcastle's vacancy rate uh, as at January 2018 was 9%, uh, and that, that fares well against those, those, those major markets. So the Gold Coast and uh, Wollongong, their vacancy rate is around 10.5%, uh, while the Sunshine Coast is at 15%. Yeah, great. And look, it was pretty clear from that report that uh, the Newcastle, uh, rents across Newcastle were at a significant discount to their metropolitan counterparts. Um, what are you seeing in terms of um, rental comparison rates? How competitive are we? Sure. Um, in terms of uh, competing with, uh, with, with the national markets, um, if you look at uh, Chatswood, we sit at around a 22% discount to, to the Chatswood market, uh, and versus St Leonard's and Parramatta, uh, which are non you know, Sydney CBD markets, we're at about a 28% discount to those two markets. You're right. And, and what are you seeing in terms of incentives? How do we compare? Our incentive levels have typically sat between 10 and 15%, uh, whilst those markets I mentioned uh, before, uh, they sort of have sat at a sub, or ab sorry, above 21%. Mm -hmm. um, so we compare favourably there in terms of, in terms of incentives. Uh, however, you know, there's the, those face rents are starting to creep around, up to around that $400 a square metre. Mm -hmm. uh, but having said that, with, with, those, with those face rental levels, uh, you're seeing incentives uh, hit around the 20% mark. Yeah, true. And in, in terms, look, we tend to focus on the A-grade market. What's your opinion on stock levels for C and D-grade stock in Newcastle CBD? Brent, the, 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 the D-grade market has seen a significant decrease in, in vacancy rate. Um, in early 2016, or the January 2016 uh, Property Council report, uh, vacancy rates for D-grade was 25%. Mm -hmm. That's now sub 10%, so it's sitting at, at around eight and a half. And that's largely due to stock withdrawals from the market as opposed to leasing activity. Yeah, great. Well, look, uh, thanks for coming in, Matt. And look, for anyone who wants some more information, we'll put a link to a copy of that document in the comment section of this post. Well, look, that's it from us. Thanks very much for watching. Please like my business Facebook page, and I'll be sure to keep you updated throughout the year.